I'm Eric Russell, and this is Under the Wig with Manila Mazan, and we are here at New Nightclub. How are you tonight? I'm amazing. Of course was, you're amazing. Well, I am amazing, and but I'm feeling amazing. So, I'd like to find out, how did you pick your name, or did someone pick your name for you? Um, uh, before I decided to be a drag queen, I, before I, I could be Manila, I had to have a name, so I, I chose the name Manila, because that's where my mom's from, Manila, the Philippines. Okay. Yeah. So, you were on RuPaul's Drag Race. How has that changed your life? What opportunities has it given you? Um, well, the show has given me, like, you know, a new career. Um, because now I'm doing drag full-time. Because I used to be a graphic designer. Um, and I used to work in a design firm in New York City. But then, when I was on the show, I decided that I should probably quit. And they were like, girl, you're never here, so you shouldn't be working here anymore anyway. So, I, I stopped my day job and I became a full-time drag queen. That's why I pivot red now. <laughs> what got you into drag? I've always loved drag. Drag is... I've always loved dressing up and being in costumes. I love performing and, you know, I'm not... I, as much as I would love to be an actor, I am Asian. And there's only so many, like, tour, tours of Miss Saigon and The King and I ever. <laughs> in community theaters across the country. <laughs> so I decided not to do acting. But this is like a, a way of acting. It's like you're putting on a costume, mm -hmm. you're performing, and like, I love it, it's fun. Who inspires you? Do you have a favorite diva or anyone just I am always inspired by Madonna, Kylie, um, and Barbara Streisand. Very cool. Now you you've, you've sing live. You've done hot couture, you even wrote a song called The Chop, is that correct? The Chop, the, chop. the, the Trees. Yeah, um, I started making music. It's crazy. I mean, ever since I was on the show, I mean, drag queen singing, it's kind of fun. But it's really cute. I like it. It's fun. What's the significance of the job? I mean, because you, you did that after All Stars, right? Yeah, after after I was, after me and Latrice were kicked off the show, I thought that we should do a song and release it, like, when we got, you know, kicked off on that episode. Um, and, you know, Latrice and I were kind of a little bit like, what the fuck? Did we just get kicked off the show? Like, we were doing so well. And then I was like, you know what, let's make something like positive out of this whole this whole thing. And I just want to remind people that like, you know, shit happens in life and that you, that you don't plan on and you know, it shouldn't stop you from trying to reach your goals. With all the bullying that's going on today and all the projects like it gets better and such, what advice would you give to a young person today who's out there struggling? Oh, okay, first of all, bullying is always going to be around. It's been around since the beginning, it's going to be, it's going to continue, and um, the people that are affected by, you know, who are bullied are going to be bullied, and the people that come out of it and, you know, make, you know, use it as a, you, basically it's just to use it as a, like a, a, a force to drive you to do better, so that, you know, people don't bully you anymore. Okay. What other projects do you have? After you're done here, do you have any new recordings, any shows? Yeah, I I am doing I'm doing more music. I love I love making music because um, it's fun. It is, it is. I just did a rap song with Caswell. <gasps> nice. That should be coming out pretty soon. You know, I'm a rapper now. <laughs> <laughs> At the end of the day, what have you learned from all your experiences from? doing drag, being on RuPaul's Drag Race, what did you take away from that experience that has changed you that you didn't expect? Well, I never really went on the show like wanting to like be a role model or anything. I just wanted to go and be myself. And um, a lot of people are, are inspired by what I do, and I'm just telling them, like, I'm just being myself, so just be yourself, and you can do crazy, wonderful things. <laughs> <laughs> if you just be yourself. I mean, don't take any shit from anyone. Just do whatever you want to do. I mean, as long as it doesn't hurt no one. And as long as grandma's okay with it. Yeah. Um, and, you know, just do you. Very cool. If people want to find out more about Mental Illusion, you have Facebook, Twitter, Tumblr. How can they get in contact with you? Oh my god, okay, Facebook, uh, facebook.com backslash Manila Luzon fan page, Twitter, at Manila Luzon, um, Instagram, Manila Luzon, and Manila Luzon to come. Okay. <laughs> thank you for being here tonight. Oh, thank you so much, I'm having so much fun in, in Richmond, Virginia, who would have thought that there'd be so much freaking, like, first of all, the people of Richmond, Virginia are beautiful, I don't know, how, what, 
gorgeous. Hello, look at this one right here. Ow. There's our Rex. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, everyone is everyone's so everyone's so nice, and I had such a great time, and the people came out in the in yeah. masses tonight. I'm so excited. For me, little of me. That's right. We love you here at New and here in Richmond. Oh, thank you. I, I can't wait to come back. Come, bring me back. Bring me back. Book her again. <laughs> I'm Eric Russell, and this has been Under the Wig with Mila Lazan. Hi! You never know whose wig I'm going to get under next, so tune in to find it next time. Wow. See ya. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you.